click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are studying a new chapter that is surface chemistry. So it is very much important for us to understand what is the definition and what is the meaning of surface. Along with that, we are going to talk about uh, new terms also which are included in this chapter. So now let us understand what is surface and what is the difference in the properties of surface and bulk. <music> So now let us understand the definition of the surface. So the definition is very much simple to understand that is a boundary that separates the two phases is called as surface or it is called as an interface. So it is nothing but it is uh, a boundary that separates the two phases. For example, if I would say like uh, a water, a, a vessel of water. So in vessel of water, basically we could see that the water is in liquid state around uh, which basically we could see that on the upper level there is nothing but gas. But in that case, basically if we observe then there will be a surface which uh, uh, has an equilibrium uh, state of that is uh, uh, one which is related to that is a uh, vapor phase and the one which is related to that is liquid phase so there is a basically an uh, a boundary that uh, separates the two phases and that is the reason that that is known as interface or that is known as surface it is not only in case of that is uh, liquid and gas but it could be also applicable for solid as well as gas also for example every kind of solid is basically surrounded by gaseous molecules so therefore we could say that the surface of on the solid that separates the solid phase as well as the gaseous phase so this is what i want to talk about so now let me give you an example so that we could understand this concept very much more effectively so this is an example let me uh, talk about this thing that uh, suppose if we have considered a vessel which is uh, uh, filled with a particular liquid and suppose it is water so this is the one which is present in a liquid phase and the above one is basically the gaseous phase so this is basically the uh, boundary that separates uh, the two phases that is one is the liquid phase and the one is uh, basically the gaseous phase and uh, so in this case we are going to talk about uh, that is surface and this is basically known as interface or surface that we know but it includes two concepts that is one is basically the surface particles and the one is uh, basically uh, the bulk particles so suppose if we are talking about uh, a liquid and suppose in this case we are talking about suppose water so in this case suppose the water molecules which is present in the bulk this region is basically known as bulk while this uh, water molecules which are present on the surface they are known as surface particles so let me elaborate this one suppose if we have considered uh, a particle which is present in the bulk so that particle will be surrounded by various other particles also and because of which basically this particle is been surrounded by various other particles as well as a kind of force of attraction is also being present uh, and that also a uniform fo uh, force of attraction is between uh, the this particle and suppose if I'm considering the other particles which are surrounding this uh, particle of uh, H2 so suppose this is the other particle that I'm talking about so these are the other particles they are surrounded uh, by this one and obviously they will have a uh, certain force of attraction with each other and that is the reason that uh, a kind of uniform force of attraction is being uh, observed whenever the particle is present in the bulk and uh, it is in multiple directions suppose uh, the one which is uh, a force of attraction would be in sidewise upper wise and lower side also in upper side as well as on the lower side as well as uh, in a three dimension you could imagine but what if uh, we are talking about the surface particles means the particles which are present on the surface so this is the surface and this is somewhere suppose we have considered a particle and i have represented with a dot over here so now this kind of particle is not surrounded by equal uh, uh, number of particles as if we compare it with the particle which is present in the bulk so this is the one which is present in the bulk while this is the one which is basically the surface particle so as you could observe that is uh, this particle would be surrounded by sidewise with uh, other particles also which are present over here as well as the one which is present at the lower part so it would be surrounded uh, with an equal distance as well as they will have a force of attraction uh, on the sidewise as well as on the lower side but what about the upper face this will not have that kind of attraction towards the upper face because there is no other particles that are being present over here if you compare it with uh, a bulk particle and a surface particle obviously there is a difference and that is what we are going to talk about here that is the difference in the properties of a bulk particle as well as on a surface particle so 
in this case basically it is unbalanced because if we could uh, observe this one this is basically it has been balanced with the uh, uh, because it has a force of attraction with the other particles also as well as the force of attraction is uniform in the all the direction which is associated with the other particles but here basically only the side particles as well as the lower part of the surface particle is basically it is surrounded with uh, this particle while the upper is not so that's the reason an unbalanced force is been observed uh, on the surface particle so that's the reason that whenever a particular other species particle if it comes in contact with uh, this uh, surface particle obviously it will have a force of attraction towards the that other species and that kind of attraction is basically could uh, make us to understand the term adsorption and that is how basically we are going to talk about the adsorption as well as absorption in this chapter so for a while it is very much essential for us to understand that this kind of extra force or this kind of force of attraction towards the other particle makes a property or makes a phenomenon that is known as adsorption and that is what i want to talk about in this topic so that's it friend that is what i want to talk about and the further information that you could learn about this uh, topic uh, will be in the next lecture that we are going to talk about so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will share this video with the friends so till then don't forget to subscribe ek channel thank you so much